In the field of embryology, there were a group of students who collected all the data that they could find in the Quran, as well as the Hadith, dealing with embryology. And they followed the verse of the Quran, Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse 43, and Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 7, which says, First, Alu Ahal Zikri in Kuntum La Talamu. If you don't know, if you are in doubt, ask the person who's knowledgeable. So these Arab students, they collected the verses of the Quran and the Hadith dealing with embryology and translated into English and presented it to Prophet Keith Moore, that was about 30 years back, in the late 70s. And Prophet Keith Moore at that time was one of the highest authorities in the field of embryology. And he was the head of the Department of Anatomy in the University of Toronto in Canada. When he went through all the translation verses of the Quran and the Hadith, he said that most of the verses of the Quran which speak about embryology are in perfect conformity with latest advances of embryology. But there are a couple of verses which I cannot say that they are right. Neither can I say they are wrong because I myself don't know about it. And two such verses were the first two verses of the Quran to be revealed of Surah Ikra or Surah Alaq, chapter 96, verse number one and two, which says, Ikra bismi rabbika allazi khalaq. Khalaq al insana min alaq. Read, recite, proclaim in the name of thy Lord who has created. Who has created the human beings from something which clings a leech like substance. So Prophet Keith Moore said, I don't know whether the human beings, the embryo, embryology means it's the study of the development of the human being, the early stages of human being in the womb of the mother, for those who don't know. He said that I do not know whether initial stages of the embryo, that's the initial stages of human being, it looks like a leech or not. So he went in his laboratory and under a very powerful microscope observed the early stages of the embryo and compared it with the photograph of a leech. And he was astonished at the striking resemblance. And later, when 80 questions were asked to him regarding embryology in the Quran and the Hadith, he said that if you had asked me these questions 30 years ago, that means from today more than 60 years back, I would not be able to answer more than 50% because embryology is a new branch of medicine which has developed recently. And whatever additional information he got, he included in the new edition of his book, The Developing Human. The Developing Human is one of the books referred by most of the students throughout the world in the first year of MBBS, first year of medical college. And even I, when I was in the first year of the medical college, in Bombay, if we had to get just pass marks, we used to refer to the book written by Inder Bir Singh. If you wanted to score in embryology, we had to refer to the developing human by Professor Keith Moore. So Professor Keith Moore, he incorporated this new information he got from the Quran and the Hadith into the third edition of his book, The Developing Human, which got the award for the best medical book written by a single author. And later on, this book was translated into several languages of the world. And Professor Keith Moore said that this information in the Quran cannot come from human source. The author of this Quran has to be Almighty God. And he said that he has no objection in agreeing that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the messenger of this God. Imagine Prophet Keith Moore being a Christian said that. Quran says in Surah Tariq, chapter number 86, verse number 5 to 7, that does not man know from what is created? He is created from a drop coming forth from a space between the backbone and the ribs. What does the Quran mean by saying the human beings have been created from a drop coming from a space between the backbone and the ribs? Today, after science has advanced, we have come to know that the genital organs in the human beings in the embryonic age, when the child is in the womb of the mother, it developed from a space close to the kidney. That is the space between the spinal column and the 11th and 12th rib. In the male, the genital organ, the male gonads are the testes. In the females, 
the female gonads, they are the ovaries. And later on, in the embryonic age, these genital organs, the gonads, they descend. In the female, the ovary descends till the true pelvis. And in the male, via the inguinal canal, it descends to the scrotum. But even after descending in the adult life, yet these genital organs, they receive the nerve supply from the same space between the backbone and the 11th and 12th rib. And the blood supply from the aorta, which is present in the same space between the backbone and the 11th and 12th rib. And the venous return and the lymphatic drainage goes to the same space, the space between the backbone and the 11th and 12th rib. The Quran mentions in no less than 11 different places that the human beings have been created from a nutfah. It's also mentioned in Surah Hajj, chapter 22, verse number 5, and Surah Mu'minun, chapter number 23, verse number 13, that the human beings have been created from nutfah, which means a minute quantity of liquid. What does the Quran mean that we have created the human beings from a minute quantity of liquid? The Quran also says in Surah Sajda, chapter number 32, verse number 8, that we have created the human being from a quintessence. And we have created the human beings from solala. The Arabic word solala, besides meaning quintessence, it also means the best part of the whole. So besides the Quran saying we have created the human being from minute quantity of liquid, it also says we have created the human being from the best part of the whole. And today science tells us that only one spermatozoa out of the millions of sperms that are emitted is sufficient to fertilize the ovum. Only one out of several millions. So this one out of several millions the Quran refers as not for minute quantity, and solala, the best part of the whole, one out of several millions. The Quran further says in Surah Insan, chapter 76, verse number two, we have created the human being from Nutfat and Amshaj, from a minute quantity of mingled fluids. Today's science says that both the male fluid and the female fluid, both are responsible for the birth of the baby. So minute quantity of mingled fluids. And besides the male and the female fluids, even the surrounding fluids take part, prostatic fluids, etc.